construction industry. Yeah. The, the logistics and everything behind that. I tell people to turn just to an island. Fish, maybe? Yeah. Yep. Oh, he's, he's really small. Fish, maybe. Put it in, put it in. I don't care how small he is, it's number 91 of the year. Everyone counts. Alright. I thought I was snagged, and then I was like, no. I think my tube's fouled. First one of the day. Freaking baby. It's like my smallest of the year, I think. <sighs> nice little guy. Nice yeah. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Number one of the day. 91 of the year. Fish, big one. Oh, he's not that big. He's not that big. I just had a follower and I thought it was. Oh, he's pretty nice, actually. Wait, 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 wait. Keep your net in the out of the water, out of the water, out of the water, out of the water. But with the current here. You, Okay, put it in, hold the basket with your other hand, the bottom of it. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, li lift it up, yes yeah, sir. It's tough here because with the current, it sweeps your basket. So it essentially closes the net and you'll put him in and he'll just get like hook caught in the net and then he can't get in the basket and then he shakes and like breaks a hook, swims out of the net. I just had a sick follower, so I'm gonna keep Yeah, 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 keep casting. It'd be sweet if we put two in the net at the same time. Oh, 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 oh. We're not on spot lock. Man, he friggin' T-boned it, like. What? Absolutely T-boned it, like the whole tube is sideways in its mouth. Oh. All right, guys. Good morning. Haven't done an intro yet, but we are on our second spot of the day. Moved up. Boys were fishing uh, spinnerbait in the top water. I had the old tube on. Green tube caught that little fish this morning right off the bat and uh, we didn't even get the big camera out or anything It was like a 28 inch or maybe 30 incher. But we got a really good fish switched to the black water wolf gator tube uh, 11 inch she absolutely t-boned it probably Close to 40 incher Yeah, that's, that's probably a 40 incher Really nice fish. She's definitely been hooked before she's got like a messed up jaw right there Somebody's tore her mouth up a little bit. But yeah, great fish. She's angry. Water temps are down. We're gonna get her back here. Quick little release. We're fishing in the current, so it's pretty important to keep their head faced into the current like this. But she should release really well. They're really starting to girth up a bit here. There she goes. See you later, girl. Right on, number two of the day. Let's get another one. For the boys. For the boys. For the boys. I might sit down and take a little break because it was literally like two casts after I fixed my tube for half an hour and I got one. Let's get another one. Eight ounces for what, 11 bucks each? Yeah. That's crazy. Fish. Oh, no way. I got it. I got it. Nice one. Hold the bottom of the basket. Yeah, I'll tell you when. Put the net in the water though. Kind of put your other hand lower. Oh. Should I reach out for it? Yeah. So you always keep your net in. So I'm taking the bottom of it more in. Yeah, and I hold it like this, 
so like it's open and then as yeah. soon as you scoop you let it go so you can grab them okay guys so update time we just finished our miner we saw four fish three of them ate every fish was in the miner it was a moon set and these fish right now this time of year are really moving during those peak periods all three of my fish that I moved were on water wolf gator tubes and uh, we had one fish moved on a spinnerbait from Lawrence but these tubes are very different. Not just the color, but I have like, say this one for example, it had a fish this morning, and then this black one for example, they're all the exact same size, and then this black and orange with the bell sinker added on the bottom, but they're all doing very different things. So we have three different harnesses that we're working with. In the middle, we got the shallow. On the right side, or I guess it's the left for you guys, is the mid harness. And then that big mama harness right there, that's for working really deep. They all have a double hook system where they have those two hookups right there that I'm adding split rings. And then what we're doing off that bottom section right here, I'm adding like a little uh, band of wire really that's connected by a split ring to the main shaft. And then another split ring down at this end that has my bottom treble hook. And then I'm uh, shrink tubing this along from that top split ring down coming out the bottom of the tube to give myself a blade like that that's trailing in behind the skirt. So these tubes I can work, doesn't matter if it is a shallow harness or a mid harness or a deep harness, but it helps me work all those different areas of the water column. I was just telling the guys like the tubes are so effective because like you can have fish up high in 20 feet of water where you're working that tube two feet under the surface or you can work that tube on a three second sink and be working at eight to ten feet in that 20 feet of water or you can really let it sink like 10 seconds down and be working like that 18 feet and 20 feet of water and getting like those lazy fish that don't want to come up. So tubes, medusas, bulldogs, they can all be worked uh, relatively in the same way. Just that pull pause kind of big rubber uh, method but the tubes have been killing it. I don't know what it is about tubes It's just that action of how it rises and falls with all that skirt moving in behind It's a perfect representation for dead fish or dying fish So tube has been the game. I've been sitting around giving the boys a chance and uh, I'm Gonna get back at it. I'm gonna put on this guy again. She needs work. All the tubes are Need work actually like this one is so torn up just chewed and that seems to be the ticket the last like two and a half weeks spinner baits top waters and tubes tubes getting the most of the fish so we're gonna get back to it and uh, seen a bunch of fish they might have shut off now because of, because a minor is over but uh, let's see what we can do uh, seen them twice this year White? fish yeah big one big 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 oh it came off he came off hook set so that's I'm sure it was the same fish I lost two days ago second cast with the friggin tube right he just shredded the head like I just repaired this and it's, that's why you had it like this damn we are back to casting let's get one did a whole lot of trolling how do we do trolling, boys? Terrible. Terrible? Yeah. We got one snag. Four hours of trolling. Saw a bunch of fish on sonar, but they just didn't want the purple nurple, so we just judged a lot of people and drove around, really. Now we're back. Okay, that last spot didn't work. We are back at the dam. Kevin is focused right now. We got a fresh tube, just changed it out because uh, this one was pretty dead. She's been, shed a fish or two. So now brand new, let's see what it can do. Boo boo, to the moon tube. Oh yeah, that's the cast. Ba ding ba dang.
Oh, right there. He missed it. He missed it. He came out from under the buoy. I, my blade was all screwed up. He went to eat it and completely missed it. Oh. Uh, my hook was all screwed up, so I like was bringing it up to the surface and like sh gave it a weird pop and he completely like went right by it. Oh, bass, bass. Yeah. Boring. Bass fish hurt. <laughs> when you musky fish, everything else is just bait. Well, that about wraps it up. It was a hard day. Real hard day. The boys are exhausted. We still got one casting. Pretty motivated still. We, uh... Didn't move a fish till we came back up to the dam. And I had a fish miss my bait right beside the boat. And then I had a fresh tube on and thought I had a rock and brought it back and she had teeth holes in it. So two more fish missed, ended up going two for seven. Both fish this morning in like the first hour and a half and uh, grinded all day just uh, doing shoulder and arm workouts. So now we're done. Got a beautiful sunset. We are headed to the ramp. So thanks for checking out this week's video. Don't forget, go down below, hit the subscribe button, S-U-B-R-I-C-B-E, in red there. Click on that if you haven't already, and uh, it helps me out in a big way, and it keeps me pumping out videos for you guys to hopefully help you guys catch more fish too. So, see you later.